case. Tonight, ABC 15 investigator Nicole Grigg is asking top Washington officials about what it's going to take to declare heat a federal disaster. And there were no policy actions or announcements made in Phoenix around extreme heat today as the Health and Human Services Secretary met privately behind closed doors with Arizona's governor before addressing the press. It is definitely a public health crisis. That's what Health and Human Services Secretary Javier Becerra is calling extreme heat for states like Arizona. We are going to try to start working in partnership with states like Arizona to help move forward an agenda that includes everyone as partners. Uh, because we know that's the only way we'll make it happen. Extreme heat is currently not recognized as a weather-related disaster under the Stafford Act, like hurricanes or tornadoes. The disaster declaration allows states to get federal help for costs associated with weather emergencies. Do you think extreme heat should be listed in the Stafford Act then? So we're going to go through all of those uh, really critical issues that have to be explored about when we have an emergency and under what circumstances the federal government comes in and says we're going to now assist a state. And I think most people recognize that what we're facing with extreme heat today wasn't what we were experiencing 30 years ago, 40 years ago. Because extreme heat is killing more people than other disasters, weather-related disasters. No doubt. Uh, we are finding that people are dying on our streets because of extreme heat. These are, these are incidents that were not occurring a generation or so ago, and so we have to make sure our policies, our laws, are adapted to today's circumstances. The secretary says Congress has to look at the issue. We were able to ask one last question around extreme heat data. Here in Arizona, there's not real-time data around heat deaths across the state. State health officials track heat-related illness by emergency room visits, but that's it. Mr. Secretary, is there enough valuable data around extreme heat, though? Do you feel that there's enough data? I mean, we'll Arizona more and more every day. And what we're trying to do is make sure that everyone has use of the same data. So we're all working off the same information, but we can do a lot more to collect that. And that's one of the reasons why we established our Office of Climate Change and Health Equity. And when it comes to heat dust in Arizona, there is no data in real time. In fact, the state health department is still working to finalize their heat de data for 2023. That will not be done until around September. Reporting live from the newsroom, Nicole Grigg, ABC 15, Arizona.